This is Madman Review, and today we'll be breaking away from tradition and covering firearms that are just terrible. In this channel, we've covered good firearms, bad firearms, and we will go over the ugly ones in this episode. Some of them are pretty popular, and you might recognize them, but I will highlight their problems. Others are just a novelty with no practical use whatsoever. Of course, what I'm about to say is just my opinion. If you own and like any of these firearms, do not feel compelled to get rid of them if they work out for you just fine. That said, I think you should. Without further ado, let's get into it. The Sig Sauer P320 The P320 is a fairly good gun, however there is a significant problem that surfaced in 2016. You see, the US Army wanted to issue the P320 to their men. If the deal had gone through, the Sig Sauer would have received a massive boost in its reputation in the firearm industry. However, for that to happen, the P320 needed to go through some testing. A prudent move from the US Army because the gun failed one test, the drop test. What does it mean? It means the gun has a tendency to discharge on impact. Evidently, this is a significant safety problem. At first, Six Hour refused to recall its P320 handgun nor even acknowledge the problem with their firearm. As you can tell, this is a bad PR move. The problem is fixed now, but people lost trust in the P320 already. And therein lies the problem. Every gun, no matter how good it is, is worthless if its user does not trust it. The people who got the new version still do not trust the P320 anymore, so they start the trade in or sell off their P320s. If you happen to own one, even if it's the new version, you should probably just get a different pistol. The Double Barrel 1911 Similar to sneakers with built-in Bluetooth speakers, just because you can does not necessarily mean that you should. In the gun world, the Double Barrel 1911 is one such example. Yes, having two barrels might look cool and all, but that's about it. The only good thing I can say about the gun is that it looks cool in the sense that it is different than other guns in the market. That also explains why there are no other double-barreled pistols. They're not worth it. You might think that the 1911 is good and having two for the price of one is an excellent deal. The reality is that you're better off buying two 1911s and shooting both at the same time, like Laura Croft, rather than buying this thing. The Smith & Wesson 500 The Smith & Wesson 500 is another novelty item that a lot of people enjoy, especially those living in a country with plenty of bears roaming about. In such places, you would want a big gun to stop a charging bear. Big guns are basically a necessity unless you want to wrestle with the bears. The Smith & Wesson 500 is just the bloody big gun that everybody needs. Or so they think. You do not need that big of a gun. It is chambered in 500 Smith & Wesson. Magnum, which is a big boy round, but a caliber that size is just ridiculous. You can get similar results from relatively smaller calibers, such as the 44 Magnum or 357. Either would do the job just fine. You would think that shooting it would be fun, but it's not. The bullet is just way too big to be put into a small revolver. It would look more at home in a marksman rifle. The recoil would probably leave you in a worse state than whatever is on the wrong side of the gun. A lot of people already ditched the gun because it's not fun to even shoot on range. The only thing I would recommend using the gun on is dinosaurs. Not to mention the bullets are very expensive. So the best use for the gun is just to show that you own a big gun. Nothing more, nothing less. The Caltech Sub 2000. To many people, it's a survival tool. The foldable stock allows you to basically reduce the length of the gun by half. With this compact form, you can stuff it into your backpack. The best part about the gun is that it's compatible with Glocks and Beretta mags. It's light, compact, and effective. Some people enjoy shooting this thing and taking it out with them, whereas others find the idea of a foldable carbine rifle useful and want to buy the gun. Unfortunately, this is where its usefulness ends. When you really think about it, do you really need a foldable carbine rifle? You're probably better off getting an AR pistol, which is much smaller than the Caltech Sub 2000. The rifle itself is kind of obsolete, and some people are reporting jamming issues as well. Caltech will probably fix the problem with the jamming. To be fair, the Caltech Sub 2000 is a sweet little gun. It is a novelty that some people think is worth buying. Some people get it because they want a foldable carbine rifle in their backpack. If you are part of the latter group, then consider getting a better alternative. Guns from security companies or bodyguards for the Hollywood stars. I'm not saying that they are bad per se, but this is more like a political statement. The problem here is that celebrities would claim that guns are bad and that they should be banned. Of course, not having guns would put their safety in jeopardy. So what do they do? They hire bodyguards who carry guns. It's just hypocritical for celebrities who ask people to get rid of their guns, but they go to security companies and hire people who carry firearms to protect them. The deal here is simple. 
If I'm to get rid of my guns, you first. Know your rights and understand what your ancestors fought to protect. And there you have it, folks. This is my top five list of firearms to get rid of. Of course, this is just my opinion, and you may enjoy using any of these guns. If so, more power to you. We would love to hear about your experience in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you want to get rid of your gun, consider trading them in for other better firearms. Luckily, our channel covers many firearms, and I'm certain that at least one of the videos will be what you are looking for. So, check it out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really means a lot to us. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Hit that bell icon so you do not miss out when we release a new episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next episode.